Lisa Itell with Design World Magazine here at Automate 2017 and the co-located Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Mat Show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're at the Pro Yeah, so speaking with Don Nasca here, he's uh, volunteered to give us some more information. Sure, I'd be happy to give you a little demonstration. How's yeah, that? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, well, this little toy here is supposed to be an AGV. Yeah. This is the primary side and the secondary side. Anybody's heard of a transformer? That's pretty much what these two parts are. And inside the battery, inside the primary, really only have this one box. This mounts to the wall. You can barely see it. You don't need this outer case. This is the primary side wall box. We can move to the quick demo here. So the primary coil is mounted to the wall. It could be mounted to the floor. It doesn't have to be on the wall. And the vehicle just pulls up, and we're hoping it's reset. Let's push the button, make sure it's reset. The vehicle pulls up. When it senses that it's in range, it starts to charge. This demo will do 10 amps and 24 volts, 240 watts. It's just for demo purposes. It makes the little candy box spin around on the top of the unit here. But the gap between the vehicle and the primary and secondary has to be about one inch or less. And the charge will take place with 93% efficiency, which is pretty good. Not many people in the world can do that. And this unit can go up to 600 amps in a different size box, obviously. We have a larger pad for higher currents. Forklift trucks might go 30, 60 kilowatts. It's not a problem. High efficiency charging. No more wires. No more connectors. No more wear out. Very reliable. Waterproof. Nobody can break anything or drop a beer or a soda in it. It's, uh, it's really the way to go in the future. We still do the standard charging systems, modular chargers, onboard chargers. But this is the latest and greatest item we have and we wanted to really showcase it today. So it's an interesting um, shout out, I guess, to uh, my colleague Mary Gannon to sort of move away from the physical connectors, um, or I should say, uh, cable based. Yeah, so you don't have that wear. They wear out eventually and they break and they cost a lot of money, especially the high current connectors. Yeah. So yeah. this removes all that. And now it's strictly wireless. This is the future. Tesla's dream is real. We have it live here today at the show. Anybody sees the video, come on down. We give you chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so um, who, what kinds of engineers, who's coming to your booth? And um, Oh, a lot of battery people, a lot of AGV people, a forklift, every, everyone that's anything in electronics that has anything to do with the system of charging, the system of batteries, they've been coming here going, really? This can do this without wires? This is for real? People have not seen this before. So this has really been great. We've had a great show so far. And um, I, I don't want to put down our other products because we, we make some really great modular chargers and other traditional charging systems, very high efficiency. But this is still like the heartbeat of the show here. Everyone's coming up to see it. We'd like everybody to come check it out. It will save you money. Installation is uh, not that complicated because it's simply a device on the wall or the floor, and the other one mounts to the vehicle. Not a big deal. You know, it's, uh, communication is really the key. If we know what battery you have, we can work with your profile, charge any kind of lead acid battery. We can charge any lithium battery. There's CAN bus in the vehicle talking to the, to the charger, so we'll know how to communicate what battery is in your vehicle, what kind of charge, how hot. You know, we make sure everything's controlled. So it's a very well-controlled, well-designed system, and uh, we're proud to show it and talk to anybody that might be interested in it. That's awesome. So in, is it a safe assumption that a lot of these systems are custom? Um, that you're kind of tailoring this design to? Well, at first, if a manufacturer wants a specific size, power handling, we'll do what they want. You know, we're open to suggestions, but we're looking at doing 10 kilowatt steps, maybe 10, 20, 30, 40 kilowatt, this range, 50, 60, so in blocks. We'll make it very simple to assemble, and most people can use one of those blocks. This happens to be one kilowatt, so it's fairly low power, but for the small vehicles, that's all you need. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, Don, for your time. Appreciate thanks. it. Thanks, yeah. Have a good show. Um, thank
thank you guys for watching. And uh, for more information on this, uh, visit connectortips.com um, as well as motioncontroltips.com, roboticktips.com, all syndicating to Design World Online. Thanks.